Let's see a problem which has been asked in the CBSC previous year board examination. The year in it which, which was asked was 2014 and the problem is evaluate integral of sin raised to the power 6x plus cos raised to the power 6x upon sin square x multiply cos square x. So basically in the denominator there is again the product of sin square x cos square x and in the numerator you have the exponent as 6. So now how is this 2 related to 6? 2 3 zars is 6. Fine. Can you break sin raised to the power 6x in terms of something called as sin square x? Definitely I can. So let me write the heading solution and let's move with the solution and know how to do it in a simpler manner. So it is something sin square x whole cube plus cos square x whole cube upon sin square x cos square x dx. Now this can be treated as a cube plus b cube. So what is the formula of a cube plus b cube? I already know my a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab square plus 3a square b, right? So I will be using that formula and obtaining the value of a cube plus b cube. So it is nothing but a plus b whole cube. So the a is my sin square x plus b whole cube. Then for a cube plus b cube minus 3ab square minus 3a square b. So it is minus 3a b square because b itself is cos square x minus 3a what is a square b. So it has to be cos square x sin raised to the power 4x upon sin square x cos square x. What does not change? The idea that integration has to be done with respect to x does not change. Right? Now let's move forward. Sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. 1 cube is 1. Minus 3 can be taken out as common. Sin square x cos square x can be taken as common. So sin square x cos square x can be taken out as common. Inside you have certain things called as again sin square x plus cos square x. Right? Cos square x from here, sin square x from there. Then upon sin square x, cos square x and dx does not change. Next is what? Next you can always separate the things. But first let's see what does this become. Again this becomes 1. So it is 1 minus 3 sin square x cos square x multiplied by 1, we will vanish it, divided by sin square x cos square x dx. Now we are about to reach the answer after we evaluate this integral. So see, the first part has to get changed in order to simplify. The second part minus 3 sin square x cos square x and in the division also you have sin square x cos square x will cancel. So what I mean to say is, if I have to separate this, better I write 1 as sin square x plus cos square x. Otherwise, I won't be able to solve. So it is sin square x plus cos square x. Then it is minus 3 sin square x cos square x minus 3 sin square x cos square x. In the division, sin square and cos square in multiplication. So here also it has to be sin square x cos square x. Here also it has to be sin square x cos square x and in the last term also it has to be sin square x cos square x. Always you will integrate with respect to dx. So here also it is dx and here also it is dx. I hope you can understand it. Now see certain things would cancel and it is very easy for us to solve. Sin square getting cancelled with sin square, cos square getting cancelled with cos square and sin square cos square as a whole getting cancelled here. So what is the last step? The last step left is only the evaluation of these simple integrals. 1 upon cos square x is secant square x. So integration of secant square x dx means tan x. Simply, right? Plus 1 upon sin square x is cosecant square x. Integration of cosecant square x dx is minus cot x. 
last but not the least minus 3 integration becomes minus 3x plus the constant of integration that is c so the answer is what it is tan x minus cot x minus 3x plus c